So, yeah, she's worried that her boyfriend hasn't really shaken his former playing ways. Kind of a player, right? And she's got some proof now to back up her claims, but the way she got that proof, suspect. <laughs> when you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. She writes, hey guys, I need some help. My boyfriend has described himself as a reformed player. Oh, good Meaning for he you. dated around a lot. In his younger days. Good for him. I have no experience with that. So great. Okay. He's pretty <laughs> handsome. And I still notice women looking him over when we're out in public. And it makes me mad that he doesn't discourage this behavior. Okay. I got suspicious. Managed to guess his password for his email. All right. And looked through all his emails for the past few months. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's not cheating on me. But he does have a few emails from women he's friendly with. Which makes me even more suspicious. Like, nothing overly flirty, but just why? Mm. You know? I check his voicemails and text messages on his phone as often as I can and haven't found a smoking gun, but I'm still worried. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel bad about snooping? Well, yeah, kind of. Okay. But doesn't everybody check up on their man occasionally? I'd like to tell him that unless he can prove to me he hasn't cheated on me, we're through. Do I confront him? Oof. Man, where do, where do we start unpacking this? Well, let's start with we need to slow our roll with the Scooby doing this poor guy. <sighs> I mean, no one should be getting in and checking text messages, voicemails all the time, going through months of emails. If you feel the need to do that, you're in the wrong relationship. Yeah, I, you know, I do tend to believe where there's smoke, there's fire, you know? Uh Uh-huh. But she's saying that he, she doesn't have, like, any evidence. Just. Like, there's nothing overtly flirty. Yeah, just some emails from some women that she said he's. Been friendly with. Friendly with. Wow. Yeah, so I don't I don't see any concrete reason why she, to justify this kind of snooping. Okay, well, I want to. Okay, I want to know if there's anybody in her situation where she, you did check up on your man because you heard just a, a faint, like noise in the wind, you know, and it turned out to be concrete, and you were glad you did. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like she has this here. Officer Russ, like, I hope she does confront him so he can break up with her because she sounds nuts. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let us know what your thoughts are because, uh, yeah, that's where we are with this. It's group therapy, 502-571-9970. All right. So, Kelly, will you, like, catch us up on this murky water that we are wading through with group therapy? Yeah, so she has a boyfriend who is a former player, dated a lot in his younger days. He's handsome. Women check him out, makes her mad. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like immediately shoot it down, which I'm not sure what he's supposed to do. Like, no, no, ladies, I'm taken. (laughs) Thank you, though. So she has taken to guessing his password, snooping through emails the past couple of months, checks his voicemails and text messages, hasn't found a smoking gun, but she's just wondering if she should confront him. You know, normal stuff, right? (laughs) No, that is not normal, and that's what so many people on Facebook and text messages are pointing out right now. Mm -hmm. Just a couple uh, to start off with. Audrey said, no, honey, not everyone checks up on their man. I've been with mine for almost four years. I've never snooped through anything of his. You need to end it with this dude. Maybe figure out why you're so insecure mm. and fix that before you start another relationship. Okay, so um, we're going to hear from Destiny. Um, and then Josh jumps in afterwards and is saying, hey, you know what? Listen to your gut. But first, Destiny, um, what's your thought? Me and my boyfriend have been together for about six years now. And whenever we first got together, Uh I was doing what she was doing and just kind of searching for something. I was going through everything, text messages, even like through with his family. And I was never really finding 
too much, Mm -hmm. but because I was doing that, it was really putting a lot of strain on our relationship and it just became super, super toxic because he kind of took the stance of, you know, cheaters sometimes think that their significant other is cheating. Mm. So then he started going through my stuff. And of course, Uh, neither one of us ever found anything. Right. But because of that, we did break up for a short period of time. And now that we've gotten back together, we have kind of came to the agreement that like, hey, let's not do that. Like, like I said, it's been six years now and neither one of us have ever cheated and we've never found anything. I don't feel the need to go through his things. He doesn't feel the need to go through mine. And it's just been a lot better since then. Destiny, how do you just switch that off? Like, if you were so investigative before, how on the the second time around are you like, nope, not going to do it? I think it was because he'd never given me a reason. Okay. At first, I think that a lot of it had stemmed from past relationships where I was like, oh, my gosh, I constantly have to check. And, you know, he was like the town player Mm. whatever so i was i kind of just had this bad connotation yeah but he's never physically given me a reason to say hey you're cheating on me so yeah all right well hey destiny thank you for sharing your story hope it all works out with you and your boyfriend yeah thank you hey josh so what's your thought on this okay well the same thing practically happened to me when i was living with my fiance Mm -hmm. oh she definitely was cheating and i'm a forgiving person Eventually got married, and then she cheated again with this uh, motel manager. Oh. And then we ended up getting a divorce. So you were kind of checking up on your fiancé. Yeah, because I had a feeling that she was cheating. So you're recommending to our listener to listen to your gut? Yeah, definitely listen to your gut. All right. Thank you, Josh. See, Kim has a similar story uh, texted in, my friend thought her boyfriend was talking to other girls on Facebook. Not sure if that was cheating or just shady, but yeah. we made a fake Facebook account, took a picture from a magazine of a pretty girl, made it the profile picture. He bit. She dumped him after two weeks after the conversation started. Oh, my God. He would talk to the fake Emily, in quotes, when he was with her, oh. when he was with his girlfriend. Oh, my God. He was a reformed player, too. I don't recommend making a fake account, but you should trust your gut cut and run but then so many more people are saying yes you should confront him tell him you've invaded all of his privacy for no reason other than that he's attractive and try to be honest with you about his past let him know that you've broken his trust enough that he's comfortable moving on so you can seek out real therapy okay all right so so um i i guess collectively as a show what are we saying we're saying i uh, think he's given her no reason to be this invasive in his privacy and first of all if you feel the need to do that you're not in the right relationship regardless of why you feel that way you should step away and realize that no it's not normal to go through text messages voicemails and emails of your partner that's not normal okay why well, i am going to agree with some of the listeners and say yes confront him and then follow up with us please <laughs> okay listen you're just looking for drama. And I'm just saying, look, she needs to understand. She needs to really get to the root of why she feels the need to do all of that. And mm. when she does confess that she has invaded his privacy like that, I don't think that he's going to want to stick around. Okay, so you've heard it all. If you want to chime in and you have got something to say, maybe we're missing the point here, you can always um, jump on Facebook at Ben and Kelly Show. That's where we put a lot of these situations up there so you can kind of go back and you can um, uh, reread them and uh, we'll even post up, uh, you know, our conversation about it up there on Facebook at Ben and Kelly show. That is group therapy.